Hey everyone, how are you guys? This is Selena here at Amore Fabrics. I hope you guys are having an amazing Friday. I've been looking forward to this video for quite some time. I've been working crazy hard on these kits, guys, for you. Um, the Reader's Digest Traveler's Junk Journal Kits. Um, my main goal for this kit was um, for those who are new at junk journaling, this is an easy way to get started. Or those who are the experienced junk journaler, artists, um, um, this will provide a like a pack that would be convenient for you guys to quickly grab this pack to create a, uh, a journal for whatever reason for yourself or for your shop or what have you um and it was just a really fun project for myself this really like i said was inspired from my daughter and i like i said we're going on a trip to canada and i really wanted to do um her and i our own journals and if i at the end of the video i'll bring out what i've done so far my goal is to um, do a video here and there um, after this video releases to show you by how I took one of these kits and created our journals for our travels. Um, yeah, so let me just dive right in. The kits are $30. And what you're going to get, I'm going to show you guys what you get in each kit. Uh, what's really cool too is I had over 60 different journals covers for you guys to choose from. So in this kit, you get to choose your journal cover. Um, the journal cover will look just like this. I have a face plate that will be um, in your kit that you choose, um, but they will be pretty much complete. Um, I found it was quite a chore to create um, a journal cover. <laughs> Binding a spine, making sure that is uh, durable enough to put your needle through. Um, I had to weed through a lot of Reader's Digest journals covers because uh, some of the older ones like their spine like to crack so i found the, the the spines of certain journal covers that were really nice and strong and durable they're not going to crack kind of thing you can bend them in every direction and they're they're really awesome so my main goal was choices so you have over 60 different journal covers to choose from um uh, it just was quite fun i'm i'm enjoying every bit of this here we go. Every bit of this, I forgot to show you guys. <laughs> I was getting this all ready, and I have, like those who know, I have, I'm a cat lover. Of course, I love dogs too, um, but at the moment, I have cats. And um, so I had this display all ready for you guys, <laughs> and here comes my boy cat running, takes a dive onto this counter, and sprayed everything over to one direction. So I did have this really nice and neat and start. Um, and then it just went nuts thereafter. All right, so, so I'll start with the gift with purchase first. Gift with purchase is, I thought was fun. Um, I had put together where you got a printable, this here paper, if you can see this paper over here. I had printed um, travel, journal, and journey. And I put these face plates on top just to show you guys an idea. But you will be getting this paper that's kind of like a coffee dye paper. And then you can use them, um, this template, to cut out what you want. If you want this type of journal or journey um, on your book covers. But it was just a little extra. I seen this. I did this because my daughter and I, like I said, we're going to Canada. I was doing a, a test. And I was asking her which one did she want. She chose this one here for her journal, Canada. And so I thought, man, I should just do the same thing for you guys. And so that's what I did. I just printed this out and I thought that's a great extra for your gift with purchase. And your gift with purchase, and when I say gift with purchase, that's with every album. So if you bought 10 junk journal kits, you're going to get 10 gifts with purchases. It's not just one order. It's I had them set and already packaged that these are in every, every kit right now. You get a key charm. I was thinking about that because the little ring post that you have here you can maybe use the charm for that um and then this ornate face plate um I keep calling them face plate because it reminds me of a face plate but this is usually for jewelry making i figured i'll throw that in there as well because you can maybe depending on what you're creating i've seen people do flowers or a picture of a person or a saying um and then i was going to tell you guys about the the gel fill that you can put inside there and i have a shout out to a friend who taught me that too um, a little bit later. For the gift of purchase, you also get five cute brown stamps. I stuck with brown because I figured that um, a lot of people get a lot of colorful things. And finding brown, just brown stamps, like a creamy brown stamps, are pretty hard to find. 
And so I thought, well, I'll just put five in everybody's kits. So every kit, like I said, every given purchase, you have five stamps in there as well. And then if those who follow me on Facebook, I try to do Instagram as much as I can. I do. Um, I just get, I'm just maybe old school and I got to get better at doing more social media. But I have a friend, Kathy Cowell. I'm sure I hope she's watching this video. Hey, Kathy, her and her granddaughter had created these um, wax seals. And so she made just enough that I could put one in every kit. And I thought they were just adorable. So thank you, Kathy. Um, Kathy is not only a friend, but she's also a neighbor that is not too far from me. And um, she had came over. I had invited her over. I forgot why, Kathy. I'm sure she could comment below why. I think just to hang out or I was hoping, oh yeah, I was hoping to hire her to do sewing work. And um, she came to the barn that I have and I let her just go through all my containers and choose what she wanted. Okay, that was a little side note. Anyway, so, so she gifted me back these wax seals and I'm gifting you guys one in each uh, one in each package um, so that's to give the purchase what you see is what you get when you get your junk journal cover kit down below is a direct link to the shop I had separated these kits which is really cool by the pattern of each kit um, and I'll show you what I mean by that because readers digest they did um, like pattern things see if you can see the same pattern to make it easy and they have drop down menus and the tab that you go to go purchase and you can pick your color but um i wanted you guys to have choices that was the main goal was to have choices in your kit and uh my mouse there and that they just turn out beautifully uh, to be quite honest with you their reader digest are just so colorful they're the perfect size and honestly i wish i could keep them all <laughs> Then I could fill in each one. I had a thought. I almost did. I'm like, Slana, no. You promised this Reader's Digest Junk Journal Traveler's Kit, and you're going to deliver. But um, Kristen at Rock Paper Treasures, you guys probably heard me talk about her a ton in the past. But I always go back to the journal that she created me years ago for my daughter. And like I said, she was one of the big inspirations of this kit. And I've used her a few times in past Traveler's Kits. Um, and I keep coming back to it because I just love the convenience and the style, how easy um, it is to use this journal with the hitch post. So each kit that you guys get, it does have the hitch post already attached, has the face place that is not attached. I figured you're going to want to to personalize your face plate, right? And so I have that. Well, Kristen, I'm like, hey, Kristen, what did you use? See if you guys can see there's like a gel. How did she seal that? And she said she used this called Glossy Accents. I'm putting the link down below. It dries clear gloss finish. I guess you put you, imagine you put something behind this and then you put your word. I'm going to do this when I do my daughter's and I our, our journals here very soon. And I'm going to do it myself. I haven't done it personally, but this is what she says you use. And I'm going to put, like I said, the link down below. I'm sure Amazon and you can complete your journal with that and so I'll put that down below but each kit I also did the same thing I had drilled a hole to where you can put and I called it rubber band <laughs> it's really elastic each kit I put two pieces of that elastic to close this book as a closure that would ring around and attach to the hitch post again I'm doing a video like of my daughter and I I'm making our journals and I'll show you how I did it um, if you're not sure how to do it kind of thing. But that is what that is for. So each kit will have a black and white because I wasn't sure um, if I wanted to put a certain color in each kit because maybe you wanted white closure and I gave you a black. So I just did both. And if you're a journaler, at least you have an extra one for a future kit kind of thing. All right. So each kit, which is I'm so excited too, will also have... I did all kinds of research on the best kind of needle for doing um, sewing in your signatures by hand. And I found this leather needle and I made sure that every kit got this awesome leather making needle. I've used it already. I love the fact that it's the large hole and then it just pokes through this spine. Awesome. So I hope that if you don't have one, hey, the kit has one for you. Um, and then you'll have a piece of like linen that I ripped off because I noticed that when Kit, Kristen did her journal for me, she had layered. Um, if you don't feel like just doing just the simple face plate, you can layer. And I just put a piece of linen in there in case you want to layer yours somehow. Either way, 
you'll have a, a, a strand, a little pack of embroidery floss to uh, sew in your spine. And then per the suggestion of a friend and a customer, Madeline, which I'm going to link her down below. She's an Etsy shop owner and becoming a friend. She's not, she doesn't live not too far from me, which is awesome. And she, uh, I did a, I did a video you get for you guys asking what you guys would like to have in this new kit. And so she's like, oh, can you put in some fabric tabs? So I put in a four, two and a half by two inch fabric tabs of Cantha fabric. Those who have not worked with Cantha, um, maybe now you can do that. And um, they're pretty good sized where you could probably cut these in half and double this batch for your kit. Um, but there you go, fabric tabs, there you have it. But I did go a step further because I really love Cantha. As those of you guys know, I sell a ton of it in the shop. I have these Cantha strips. They're about, oh, I would say almost two yards. So every kit will have one of these strips. One, you can either use it for partial for your tassel. Um, but I loved it because I can wrap this, this package together with this strap. I'm going to use it. I'm going to put this all together. Because when you do get this kit, this kit will be laying flat. It will be a flat kit. And then I will be tying this like a Christmas, <laughs> you know, like a crisscross um, into a package. And so you'll have some more fabrics of Cantha to work with. And I hope you guys can enjoy that. So that would be in that kit as well. So like I said, you'll, you'll get the choose your cover. It will come with a face plate. Um, and uh, also too, just to give you guys a heads up, when I put these kits together, I chose the face plate. If you do, do find a junk journal cover in this kit that you absolutely love, but you don't want that color face plate, say you want the antique gold, when you purchase the, the daily deal, just message me. Say, hey, can you replace this? Because I can. I can replace this to the antique gold. Same thing with the hitch post and then the ring, the, re, the, the ball ring like uh, tassel holder there. I can do the same thing. I can change these out. Um, your happiness is seriously my goal on these kits. Am I going above and beyond? Sure. I put a lot of time into these kits. I'm sure when I do a kits like this, I really, the turnaround for a payout is not that really huge. This is like, I'm a person, those who follow me who know, I love a challenge. And this was a challenge. I, to be quite honest with you, I um, fear doing my own journal covers. I when I first started uh, learning what you guys taught me about doing junk journals, I was scared. And that's why I would buy a journal like from Kristen or other people um, is because I didn't know how to, to start a cover. Like I was scared. So if you're that same kind of person, this is perfect for you. And so back to the challenge. So I challenged myself to do it myself and then times that by 70 of them <laughs> for you guys. And so that's what I did. So when I searched for the hitch post and the faceplate, and then, like I said, the, the uh, there's a name for this. I have it right here. It's called, um, oh, Lord, you guys are probably who are watching like you're, you're yelling out the name right now. It's a ring post. Anyways, I was searching out because I've seen that there's a lot of people who, who sell these that they're kind of cheap. Like I noticed I'm not downing 10 Holtz, but I had um, a 10 Holtz one and the screw that went in wasn't not only durable enough, but long enough. And um, it just seemed kind of cheap to me. So I did find a company that I got a bunch of these little hardware pieces that um, I added to it. And I wanted it perfect and I wanted it to be quality for you guys. And so if you guys are looking for that same thing for future journal projects, I do have them in the shop. So now I had everything you see here from the face plates and stuff. I do sell them in packs in the shop for you guys. Uh, it'll be limited supply. I don't know how long I'm going to be selling them. I just had an overabundance of extras. I got ambitious, <laughs> not me, <laughs> me ambitious and always up for a challenge. And that was it. So I think I mastered the challenge. I'm sure you guys all can agree. The paper pack guys, it is a 30 page paper pack. I'm not going to really go through the whole thing because when you go to the listing, you're going to see every type of page. Um, I'm going to quickly go through here. The reason why I picked a 30 page is because in a journal, you need three signatures. And in each signature, it's an average starting, I think, what, 10 pages per signature. And, and when you fold a page in half, it adds, make times that by two. Um, so really, it's 60 pages in this, in this journal, which is perfect for your journal, right? 
I'm sure you guys out there, hopefully you will be agreeing with me for those who are those master journalers. <laughs> so I made sure these were all long page sheets from music pages to vintage dictionary pages to coffee dyed papers. Reproduction that is, that is double sided. So there's no white on the back. You get two of those. You get grid, graph, ledger. Um, I went from cr uh, quilting pages to um, recipe pages. Those who watch my other videos to show you what's in them. Anyways, it's packed and it's all you need to complete a journal and then some. I'm sure you're going to have leftover, what have you. So that is what's in each kit. And if you stick around, guys, at the end of the video, I was going to show you some of the patterns of the books that we have. But I'll be honest with you, I think you want to click down below, go straight to the shop. You're going to see every book and write out and you get to choose what you want. All right. So I found this matte paper. I've used this matte paper in, in the past. I have a giant roll of it. Um, I, I was going to use this for my journal with my daughter and I put this same size in every kit and I did that because as you can see it's the same size of a journal and I thought what if when you got your journal cover you weren't too happy with this lining you want to line it with some map and I'm going to I'm going to lift this map page to you here in a minute or you can use it as a junk journal page in your book as well but that is this you can see it's got a slight gloss, but my daughter's one, I wanted to cut this to have like the ship on one side right here. So, all right, so there you guys have it. Run on over there. Um, I'm going to give you guys a quick peek of some of the books that are here. You can see there's that set right there. And then the next set, oh boy, I don't know if I want to grab them all out, but I was going to show you a few more. So I have them already packaged. They're already done, guys, and ready to go. Um... I think I'm not going to grab them out. I think it's just going to cause not only a mess, crazy. Um, I, I'm sure you guys just want to run over there and grab your kit. If you have any questions, just message down below or message me in the Etsy shop. My goal is your guys' happiness. Again, I'm there. If you guys, guys have any questions. Ooh, I did forget. <laughs> I'm ambitious. I get, It's Friday and I got a whole lot to do um, in yard work today. So I'm like, my goal is on that yard work. All right. So here are the crimps. I forgot to tell you. I added two crimps. One gold, one black. Um, let me grab my daughter's package really quick to show you. Okay, so for instance, here's my daughter's journal that I've been collecting pages and stuff for her. Um, and I have it all ready in here, her pieces and stuff like that. So when I do my video with you guys, I'm ready. I already got the signatures um, snapped in and everything on a little clip. All right, here is the... the uh, I'm going to call it elastic or rubber band every time. But here is the crimp. And I first you put the elastic through, and I'll show you guys how to do that later. But the elastic goes through, and I use the crimp to crimp the end, and I put it there. Some people use two crimps. One I like. I like using one. It seems to work better. You can use it that way. Or if you have a hair tie kind of thing at home, you just loop it through there and do the knot as well. If you have not, don't have two raw ends kind of thing. All right, guys. Run on over there. I hope this was helpful. I wasn't rambling too much. I'm just excited to get it out to you guys. I've worked weeks and weeks on this for you guys. And a lot of pain. Um, um, and my fingers are sore. <laughs> but it was worth it. It was fun. And the challenge, I made it. And, you know, the main goal is your guys' happiness. And making your job easier. And they are all up and ready in the shop, guys. Run on over there. You guys have a blessed weekend. Um, and I will hopefully see you guys Monday. I have a ton of stuff I've added to the shop. Make, make sure you take a peek too. I did. Uh, I haven't announced it yet, but those who have watched this video to this point, thank God, bless your soul. <laughs> for, thank you for taking the time to do so. But if you're still watching, um, you guys would be the first to know, and I'll announce it to you guys. But I do have the doilies are back in town. The vintage doilies, and then the vintage uh, junk uh, linen. Um, lace junk journal cover kits are out that's the next daily deal but if you want to grab your pack before the daily deal announces they're in the shop Shh. <laughs> so run on over there and uh, hopefully you can snag one before that daily deal happens you guys have a blessed weekend bye